course, if I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Oh no. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. But it in the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? Only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. Oh, okay. Man, I, I thought, uh, I thought there was more to the quest. Aw. Man! <laughs> we got the model airship. <laughs> That's nice. It's a little disappointing, though. I was hoping we'd get an airship. Alrighty. Has Midadol mentioned a new project yet? Okay, I think that's the end of uh, Med's arc in this case, so... Alright. We could do this, but... In, in, in due time. In due time. Let's do this one first. We have Northreach. Couple of quests to do over here. Nazir might at least have mentioned where in Northreach he'd be testing this recruit. Oh. Is this him? Yes, it is. I'm nervous. Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. At your service, master. Please, just Sid. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face them. Just like the man who saved my life. Gav? Who would that be? Gav! Oh. It was him who found me and freed me. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. Then it should have been Gav been teaching you, man. Ever since, so that one day... I can be someone's saviour, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. You clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? Have I passed? <sighs> you haven't even started <laughs> yet. Now listen. Dumbass. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? You're acting like this is an no. easy mission. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. Oh, he's gonna let us down. <sighs> it shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. I have so many, like, I have so much better things to do than to do this. Alright, so how's this done? How am I supposed to head? Okay. Alright. Chug about. Ready, go. Let's go, chug about. I keep forgetting. No, we will not be fighting. These are clean kills. Perhaps young Ember really is ready. Ah! That doesn't sound Maybe too good. <laughs> All right, let me off. A wyvern. Draw your sword. A god. Then run. Um. 
If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Crap. Nice try. Okay, where's the other one? And we're here. How's he not freezing? Uh oh, I thought I dodged that in time. There you go. How is that not? Why? Uh, whatever. Oh, shoot. Wrong attack. It's okay. Okay, and finally... We're good. I didn't get hit there. Right? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did not get hit there once. Oh wait, no, I did. I did. I got hit by that flame thing. Ember, are you? Wow. He ran. Gone. Of course. Scouts really are a rare breed. Huh. <sighs> Back to Northreach it is then. I've never been in this area. What was that? That was a new... What does this do? Okay. Yeah, Berserk Ring. Berserk Ring is still, like... I got this so early in the game, and it's still, like, super useful until now. That is crazy, man. Yeah, I have not gotten anything that would uh, replace that crap. All right. Is there anything else here? Nothing. Let's head back down. Okay, we have to head to Lost Wing after this, so I think I can just, uh, quick travel. Where'd he go? I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I... thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but apparently not. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. So he dipped. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man for the job. Not really. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. How did you... Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, Azair. And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> this won't be an easy decision. He was kind of an ass. Literally, I had a feeling he'd use Sid as like a... As like distraction or whatever. Um... Nope. 
we teleport right... Oh, it's close by. I don't even have to... All right, let's do that. Ambrosia won't help me here. <laughs> what? I just walked five feet and now I can call Ambrosia? Come on. Faster. Let's go, Ambrosia. Let's not uh, kill these gazelles now. Although those weren't gazelles, I think. Since when did bombs roam this area? Holy crap, there are bombs everywhere. What the heck? It's over. Oh, okay. So you really had to take out all of them. Oh, there. Spider eye. Hopefully one will be enough. Rodrigo will have prepared the other ingredients by now. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's head back. Because Tarya is one of the, uh, the best supporting characters. I should probably do that before I do any of the other quests. Okay, so I finished two of them. Two birds with one stone. Where the heck is Jill, by the way? I haven't seen Jill in a bit. You should have seen him. Welcome back, Sid. Welcome back, Sid. Yes. Welcome back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But why? But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No. They most certainly did not. Does Ember deserve passing marks? Hmm, I could say no here, just be a dick. Now I'm gonna say yes. Ember lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey, but he didn't lose heart. He pressed on, and he achieved his aim. And is that not what we ask of our scouts? What what happens if you say no? Is. Thank you for your honest appraisal, Sid. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade, and any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conch and a half. Wouldn't do to waste it now, would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. Now do I'll it properly. I'll spend nights in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. So it doesn't matter if I gave him a passing mark. He wouldn't have, uh... Delft as a brush, <laughs> But his heart's in the right place. Just like someone else we know. And if you ask me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. You thought about me or that Gav? The curse breakers took some of the weight oh, off his shoulders. Oh, definitely right Gav, then. Good night. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will you? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'd be asking for a day off. <sighs> Chance would be a fine thing. Back to work. Forgive me, Sid. This did not play out as I expected. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Things really do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. All right. Do you think he's gonna... Hmm. Do you think another quest is... Oh my god, there is another quest. Okay. 
Um, all right. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Sorry, I was doing a bunch of other Is quests. This what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Talia's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. We destroy the crystals so this doesn't happen ever again. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Aww. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next. Never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. But my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. You're here. I hope so. I do like these uh, these side quests. A lot of people, I mean, I've gone through tons of forums of people just complaining about how the side quests in this game suck. I mean, I, I get it. They are repetitive. They they aren't exactly engaging, but the story that comes out of it, it's. It's really great. The the fact that it expands on characters. It's it's basically showing you a, an entirely new world. All right, let me pick up that other quest before I head over to Lost Wing and start doing a bunch of the uh, the quests there. I think we still have um, one of that that rebellion side quest that that little arc in between. Uh, and before I leave, I'm gonna look for. What's her name for Jill? I think she's in my room. Oh, it's Gav. What the heck? Oh, you all right? Silver linings. Something troubling you? Uh, no more than usual. It's just... Yeah, this baby will be coming soon, and I wanted to make something for it. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a bairn was on the way. I let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now, and 
I don't know if I'll be ready in time. All right. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You know, there just might be. All right, then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm. But not just any good luck charm. Not just any. No. One made from the feather of a silver chocolate. You mean Ambrosia. <laughs> There's no luck in all the realm, or so we used to say back home anyway. Thing is, they're hard to come by. Had Otto and Karen check with their suppliers, but nothing. I try and track one down myself, only... Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need, a feather. That or the bird whose horse it's attached to, aye. I was gonna start by asking around with traveling traders plying the northern borders. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. Okay. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. All right. You're a good After friend, Martha's Clive. rest. I won't forget this. All right. Is it all right if I bring Jill with me? Like, would that be fun? Can I? Please? All right. Oh, there are quests over here. What the heck? Jillio, where are you? There you are. Oh, I love her outfit. Clive, do you have a moment? Of course, always. I wanted to give you something. Aw. Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The piece she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. Aw. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. Red is the color of passion, the fire in your heart. Fierce and bright, it binds you and your brother, you and your friends, you and me. Aww. Our bond. May it never be broken. Liar. Fucking liar, Clive. And may it ever bring you back to it me. It will. I will always, always be here. Thank you, Jill. That was so unexpectedly sweet. Wow, that was so nice. What is it, Clive? You can all I'm always with you, Clive. And I'll always be with you too. Alright, let's check the reading table. Oh. Captain Doris. Uh Yeah. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. I'm just picking up a bunch of quests here. We're going to do all of them. Okay, in a mood. All right, in case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all of his time of late on the rear deck whimpering like Gav in his cups. Something ain't right, and my gut's telling me it's not to do with his supply of antelope bones. Okay. What is it this time, Togo? <laughs> this dog. All right, next one. Treasure hunts. What, you didn't think I were just saying stuff about hiding my engine, did you? Wouldn't you know I've already find... I've already a fine spot picked out and everything, but if you're going to go on this grand adventure, you'll need to be quick about your business with that ruddy god of yours. Take too long and somebody more clever might be you to the prize. I suppose in that case, I should brew you one of my lesser inventions. Goddess knows I've, <laughs> I've countless. This is such weird, like, I know this is probably, like, normal for some people parts of like the UK or something but I cannot understand what she's saying well, I mean I I guess I can get the gist of what she's trying to say but oh my god the speech pattern is just totally way beyond me all right 
in search of a lost tome. Reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in personal matter, albeit one that may be beneficial to your cause. There exists ancient texts deemed to, so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime, and it was a chance encounter with one such tome from a distance that sparked within me the scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist your aid in reclaiming that text. Should you require further incentive, know that I'm willing to offer compensation for services rendered. Sounds a little vague, but okay. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. <laughs> All right. So I think I will do Gav's quest, and then I'm gonna end it for uh, for today. The Gav's quest should be fine. Although, what the hell is this? Speak with Doris in the mess. Hmm. Should I speak with Doris now? Uh, I'll speak with him when I come back. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I should probably speak with him when I come back because I don't want to be lost uh, when I start when I start up the next session. Okay, we have a couple of quests in Martha's Rest as well. Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. Hello. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> a silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. Though you're not the first to mention the bird around here. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Near some gutted hovel, not far from East. Oh. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. Thank you. I don't want to kill a chocobo. Chocobo. All right. Um, let's talk to more people, I guess. Okay, everyone should be here, right? I'll build a barricade so sturdy. Oh, there. The grocer. Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. But if it's fancies you're after, I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a man, hmm. man. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Scouts have reported seeing more Akashic on Rhiannon's ride. Okay, Rhiannon's ride. Where is that? Rhiannon's ride. Okay, I know... Rhiannon's ride. Rhiannon's ride. Rhiannon's ride. Three reeds. Quartails. Oh! It's over here. Rhiannon's ride. On the way to Eastpool, of course. Did you hear that Martha's been turning travelers away? Her beds are full of bells. Look, Daddy. Shining so brightly. Martha's been turning away travelers? Inns full. Don't bother. That doesn't sound a lot like her. Oh, uh, this guy can fuck right off. <laughs> chill, bro, chill. There you are. How do, traveler? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone? Or perhaps a bawdy etching of the vicerine? Uh, maybe another time. <laughs> I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumors are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. <laughs> if any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. 
A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rien and Tride. It sounds almost too good to be true. But since I'm already here, let's go. No, there's my white chocobo. Okay. We are tracks. They're not left by bandits for a change. Tracks where? Oh. Okay. So it should be somewhere here. Perhaps it still is. One way to find out. We gotta check. Oh no, is it dead? I hope it's not dead. I don't hear anything. Oh, but there's a feather. Is it, it's not going to ambush us, is, is it? Hey. Wow. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. Thank you. Let's get this back to Gav before they change their minds. <laughs> All right. Back to Gav. Okie dokie. It was no trouble at all. Still, I appreciate it. What? Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? All right. Crystal's crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Not really. I don't know what Ember's doing there, though. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there's been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I... Fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on Eastpool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long, even if you hadn't have turned up. They'll find a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals <laughs> do. Anyway, what matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. Hey, that looks pretty cool. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I? Kiss ass. 
I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Eh, you can give it to yourself. Come on. Wait, where is she? The infirmary? Speak with Etta. I'll speak with Dion later. Where the hell is Joshua, by the way? There's something about it. I feel like he's... Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. This guy's face is so small. What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. This dude's head is so land. small for its body. Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Oh, anyway. All right, let's talk to Edda. Oh, she's here. Please. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is, is... Uh... Go on, please. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, ah, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a band's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. <laughs> to let them know that they're part of the family, too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I, I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords, for everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah, oh, Clive. Fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. <laughs> oh. Okay, cutscenes now you're done. <sighs> Don't you think you've had enough? No, oh, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. <laughs> ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> Wasn't long after me tenth name day, me mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I did. Jesus. My whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. 
I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Doggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Maybe. <laughs> Do you know why you're our best scout? Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... <laughs> that was only the once. Exactly. You learn from it. And here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Man, this just makes the ending more painful. Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and sword. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, everybody. I'm going to end it here for today. I think that's a good place to end. So we'll continue with another session. We'll just be doing a bunch of side quests. And then after that, we will be heading for the hunts. After all of that's done, we will tackle the DLC. I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. Uh, I said I was thirsty. <laughs> Better get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know... I know. Gav is such a great character. He's such a great character. All right, Winter Mead. Thank you. I was th I said I was thirsty. All righty, I'm going to end it here. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next session. So, take care, everyone, and peace out.